Hey, what's up, everyone? Call my Dennis Go here, the Launch Network. You know, I had to bring somebody on. My next guest is something a little bit out of my normal range. You know, usually we bring in these entrepreneurial people that have products, inventions, and they've really been working on them for years and years. But I had an experience last weekend, and I got to tell you, I wanted to bring on Luke Holland. He's got a really cool business going on, and I just wanted to bring it in and kind of introduce him to what he did. If you have ever had a negative experience or if you just shy away from it like I do of going out and buying a new vehicle, then this is the guy for you. We're going to bring him on. We're going to talk a little bit of what he has going on because it's really extraordinary and kind of something you may want to think about for your next car purchase. Let's bring him on. Luke, how's it going, man? You there? Fantastic, sir. How are you doing? Luke, I got to tell you, man, I'm doing awesome now that you've helped me out. I couldn't believe it. Very, very cool. You know, I was thinking about buying a car probably for the last year or so. But what I find is I shy away from it. And I was just in awe of how you were like, just, hey, man, let's just go get the car. It's awesome. So tell me something, man. Where did you come up with this great idea? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I have a background in the automotive industry. I've been a, a salesman as well as a finance manager, a uh, floor closer. I've done it all. Um, and, and really, I, I saw an opportunity to, instead of working for the dealership, work for the customer. Because the, the, I guess the way it's phrased is, as a salesman, you're working for the customer, but you're not really working for the customer. You're, you're working for the dealership at the end of the day. I mean, if, if I make more money on you selling a car, then I make more money. Luke, you probably get this question a lot, um, but you know, are, is what you're doing kind of like a brokerage or a broker, car broker? No. So uh, my sole focus is with the consumer, right? My client um, at the end of the day. So I don't take any money from the actual dealership to bring them business. At the end of the day, the person who's going to get my business as well as my client's business is the person with the lowest price, right? So I, it, that way it's not a conflict of interest. Um, between the dealership, um, myself, and, and you know my consumer. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. So a broker really kind of works for for both parties, or they're really they're more focused on just getting the car sold kind of thing. Yeah, they, 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 you know you see some people in the industry they'll take kickbacks from the dealerships to actually bring customers in, um, and I, I just I think that that. that could lead to issues, you know, because yeah. th then that takes your, again, your focus off of the consumer. And I, th that just that goes work. Against the whole purpose of, of me doing this. Yeah, no, I, 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 that I can see happening. And that's, what's great about what, you know, you're going there. You're like, this is my client. This is the customer. We're going to get your car. That's, it. <laughs> that's yeah. cool, man. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about is that, you know, I see all the time, you know, like cars.com auto trader, true car, all of these car companies that are just all over the internet, you know, all those things is, um, you know, what's the difference between what you're doing or is it not even close to what you're doing? Yeah. So really with, you know, cars.com admins, you know, true car, so, you know, those are really just lead generation tools that are used by other dealerships. So basically when you go on any of those websites and you're looking at the inventory from the dealerships that are working with those companies, you put your information in and then they sell your information to the dealership so that the dealership can reach out to you and say, Hey, this is Luke from so-and-so XY dealership. And I'm calling you because I saw that you were interested in, in taking a look at this specific vehicle. Um, and, and so th that's, that's what they do. Um, again, my whole goal and, and what I do for my clients is I get them the best price possible on the vehicle. Um, so I'll go in there and negotiate for my customers. The other thing that I do is I do like a one-stop shop. So in other words, if you've had enough poor experiences with dealerships, I'll take care of the whole transaction. I'll find the car that you're looking for, especially if it's a specific type of vehicle. I'll find it. I'll negotiate and work pricing. I'll even have it delivered to your door, right? At no additional charge to you. Um, yeah, and, that, and that's a whole separate package, but that, that's really what, you know, the price right is going to do for, for our customers. Wow. I mean, that was going to be my next question, you know, cause I, I get people that I know all over the country, they're always looking for vehicles, always looking. So being able to recommend you even to somebody that is in the middle of the country or California or wherever, and you still be able to help them. I mean, I think that is going to be a huge plus for people. You know, there's people there just, they, they don't get cars cause they just don't have the time to go to a dealership 
and spend that three, five hours or go back again after they check the car out. So being able to offer that service, I think it's awesome, man. Just like let you guys know, all your listeners out there, uh, the name of Luke's company, Priced Right Automotive Consulting. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that you don't know it's there until you know it's there. And then you want to use them all the time or tell people about it. And uh, Luke, let's get a little into, you know, your experiences with buying, selling and, you know, why, again, why you did that. I mean, I know that you worked for dealers and you have this background in automotive, but was it just like, you know, I can do this for myself or there's a better way, or you just see how people just didn't know how to buy a car and you wanted to help them. Yeah. You see, really, it comes from a place of wanting to help people, right? Because at the end of the day, you can always help yourself um, and you can always make money for yourself, but I, I see more benefit um, in, in helping others. Um, and yeah, you can still get paid, excuse me, you can still get paid, but um, th- that way, you know, you're changing your perception and, and you're actually helping people instead of, you know, fake helping people. When a car dealership or a car salesman see you walk in with a potential client, um, is it impact them negatively or are they sometimes happy about it? Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, they're not happy about it just because they know they're dealing with somebody who has a full understanding of the ins and outs of how a dealership operates. And, and really, just from a profit standpoint, um, it, it gets rid of that, you know, and, and at the end of the day, everybody's trying to make a profit. Um, and if you're working in a dealership and you see somebody who can see through all the smoke and mirrors, it's a little bit irritating. It, it'll, yeah, it'll rub some people the wrong way, but... <laughs> For some, they see it as a, a quicker transaction. Yeah, I would. I mean, and again, there's probably dealerships that are fair, and there's probably dealerships just like anywhere in the world. There's good and bad people in a sense. And Absolutely. you try to you try to go to a dealership that actually loves to see you walk in because I know if I was a car salesman, and you know, certainly, you know, I'm not going to make as much, but I'm also not going to have that five hour you know, sales process or trying to sell them a car and kick the tires. Are they going to walk away? I mean, if I saw you walk in, I'd probably be like, awesome, Luke, these guys obviously are ready to buy. So let's get to business, right? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, my focus is, is solely on my customer and their, their experience. So really my focal point and what I worry about is the bottom line. At the end of the day, it's all about the bottom line. You can look at all the different variables. What does the actual car cost? At the end of the day, that's the only thing that matters, um, or that's, I guess, the first priority. And then obviously customer service is definitely a, a bonus and you don't want to have a bad, you know, interaction with somebody, you know, whether you're at a restaurant or a car dealership. Um, but r- really you're going to see the biggest benefit from saving money. I mean, at the end of the day, who doesn't want to save money, especially in, uh, if, you know, the market that we're in right now with all the crazy amount of inflation, you know? Yeah. And it is the one of the biggest purchases most people are going to make, right? Yeah. Normally speaking, it's the second biggest purchase that the, the general consumer is going to make, you know, being, uh, you know, their house first and, and then their car. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, to me, I hold on to a car longer than I want to just because I don't want to go through all this crap going to the dealer. You know, I always feel like even though I think I got a good deal, I always feel like I could have got a better deal. Right. And, and that's the benefit to working with price, right? Is, is we get that peace of mind that you're looking for. Cause at the end of the day, I know that I know what I can say, you know, it's, it's really that simple. I know the ins and outs. So I know when we're at the rock bottom of uh, pricing structure and I know when we're not, I know when there's a little bit more room to where you can go for the, go for the kill, so to speak. Um, and, and, and that's really my, again, my biggest concern is, the bottom line, how low can we get the bottom line for my customer so that at the end of the day, they can enjoy their car purchase and not have to worry about, like you said, did I get the best deal or, or spending weeks, you know, sometimes continuing to search after the purchase just to make sure that they got a good deal. And at the end of the day, you're just, you're playing mental mind games with yourself. And, and I like to alleviate that for people. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I just love that I'm able to you know, just know when I walk away, I, listen, I got the best deal. The, the other part that I didn't bring up is that, yeah, I, you love making money. I love making money. Everybody likes making money. But what I save is going to actually give you what I'm paying you to do. So I'm, I don't always get paying you out of that savings, but then I'm still saving money. It's kind of, you know, bringing a higher gun to a gunfight, man. I just bring you there. We get it done. We leave. 
And it didn't really cost me anything in essence. Yes. And that's the, the beauty and kind of being a car agent as opposed to a car salesman is I don't have to worry about the purchase at the end of the day. My main concern is actually saving you money. Whereas a car salesman is trying to make the most amount of money possible it, all day long. And you, you'll they'll phrase it every which way other than that. But at the end of the day, they're there to support your family and make a living. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't want it to be at my expense or my customers. <laughs> yes, yeah, no doubt. Well, listen, Luke, man, awesome. I really congratulate you on this. And I think it's a great idea. I think you're going to help a lot of people obviously make money, but you're going to help them save money, give them peace of mind. And in some cases, get the car of their dreams because some people are, are, are um, they're settling for a vehicle that they may not have wanted yep. because then they're, they're saying, oh, that's the only thing I can afford. Whereas they can talk to you and say, hey, Luke, listen, I'm, I'm looking for this vehicle. And you're going to say, hey, yeah, man, we can get you in that car. Let's go do it. I mean, so- there's a lot of pluses to this, and I don't see really any negative pieces of it. No, and what you said too, it, you know, that's one of those uh, things that dealerships will do is if I don't have the exact car that you're looking for, I may try to sell you something else that you may not even be interested in, whether it, it be, you know, just a different color or a completely different model of vehicle, right? And at the end of the day, that's not customer centric. That, uh, that's not focused on the customer. That's focused on selling you a car. And, you know, with this process, you're, you're not doing that. I'm, I'm now worried solely about my customer's experience, saving them the most amount of money, saving them the most amount of time. And then obviously that frustration. Awesome. That sounds great. Well, Luke, listen, man, thanks for coming on Launchpad today. And again, thanks for your help in my vehicle purchase. And, uh, you know, let, next time I need something, I will uh, give you a call. I tell everybody that's listening to this video, if you're looking for a car, you're looking for a vehicle, Make sure you give Luke a call. Price Right is the company that will help you. And uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. If you can, go on out to uh, Launchpad. Make sure you leave us a review, a rating, and a subscribe. And we'll catch you next time on a Launchpad. You all take care.